Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. Y'all come on in and see. What? Oh, oh, Mr. Tater Buggin just brought me a present. I already had a little cup of coffee, so I might be, I'm gonna be making and making. Thank you, darling. All right, y'all come on in. And if you're watching on replay, please comment hashtag replay. Um, and I'm going to see if I can get, get y'all going down here where I can see your comments. And we're going to get started. I actually did a little prep work today. Oh, yeah, I do have comments. They weren't coming up on my phone. Hey, Patty and Cindy. Elizabeth's here. She's at work, though. You can't hear me. <laughs> hey, Dawn. Oh, there's Opa. I hope your day's getting better. Hey, Sherry and Julie and Jackie. Carol's here. I gotta, um, I gotta, let me take care of just a little bit of business here real quick. Are y'all having a good day? I hope so. I sure hope you are. I am going to just do this and go back here to where we were. And pin this comment. Take care of a little business. And then we're going to get going. Just in case anybody, um, I hope I did that right. Did it go? Um, in case anybody's interested in this t-shirt that I'm wearing. No, that's not it. I don't know how to draw hands. Oh, goodness. Let me try that again, y'all. <laughs> I caught you at the beginning. Yes, Stacy, you did. I'm excited to see what I'm going to do, too. This is one of those that is started up here, and that's always kind of crazy. So you never know how those are going to turn out, and I'll probably need y'all to um, help me here and there. You have the greatest ideas. Let's see if I can try this again. I'm glad I did a little prep work. Hey, Lynn Ann and Bev. Okay, is that it? Hmm, let's try that one just in case like I said in case y'all are interested in uh, my, my shirt. I just I like to give y'all your um, Your uh, discount code Hello, Julie. I'm sorry y'all. Thank you for the hearts Sandra's here Sarah's here y'all are so sweet for tossing the taters um <laughs> I know, Cindy, I had sent that to someone earlier who needed help for her daughter on a project where she's learning to, um, she's going to have to draw hands. I can't help with that. But my uh, there's a great artist online, Karen Campbell, who can, and she had that, so I was sharing that with her. Hey, Lindy Lou, I see you, Leanne. How are you? Hey, Kathy. We, we're having a good day. It's been a rainy day, but that's all right. Hey, Kathy. Did y'all see my post about these little things that came in a pack of four at Dollar Tree? I picked them up because I had one idea. Hey, Vanetta. Thanks, Jackie. Linda, Judy, I saw you sent stars. Thank you so much, my sweet friend. Hey, Linda. There's artists. Hey, and Diane. Hey, Diane. So, you look at these and you think, well, they're just little plastic uh, bright orange pumpkins, but I had an idea for them, and then it kept growing. So, today's the day. Hello, Bertha and Gwen. Um, Brianna, I did, I don't know the company. I don't think there's a time limit on it. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, these tiny pumpkins. So, technically, they're 25 cents. You get a pack of four. So, what we're doing today, you can make four of them. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna just, you can just pull out these little handles. They're easy to pull out. You got this. I did a little prep work. Like I said, hi, Debbie. I can't either, Jody. We'll see. Y'all cross your fingers for me. This is another one of those that, um, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So all I did on this, now this is easy, just be careful. Um, hey, Amanda. There's Amanda from Amanda Maid. I told her I would probably need her on here today for a little help. <laughs> Anna, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Awful weather in England. We're gonna, I hope you feel better. We're gonna poke, now this is easy. I just kind of go slow. 
And you just take your ice pick or whatever tool you've got. I keep one of these in here in the studio with me for times like this. And it's just that little plastic, you know, so it's easy to just poke a hole in. But then I needed the hole to be a little bit bigger. Hey, Trina from Michigan. And there's Laurie here, Crafting by Faith with Laurie. Let me go back up here. Um, sweet tater bugs. Yeah. Hey, Rhonda. Oh, Terry, thank you so much for the stars. Catching you live. Can't wait to see what you're doing. Good, Gail. Let's see what we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> Be very careful with this. It's a little, you know, the little exacto knife. All I wanted to do is um, make this hole just a little bit bigger. So I practiced to see if I could do this without, you know, any blood and guts. And I don't want any of that on my live. And I just very carefully put the little pointed tip down in that hole and just turn it and it shaves that little thin plastic away and just makes a bigger hole. Let me see. Oh, you're traveling home, Robin. Ha safe travels. Hi, Becky. <clears throat> I'm having a lot of trouble with my allergies today, y'all. I did just take a Benadryl before I went live, but I um, haven't had time to take effect yet. So I feel a sneeze just right there. So <laughs> try to hold that in. Okay, so I think, thank you, Linda, for the stars from Kansas and at Nana's place. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, so we've just got a little bit bigger hole there. We don't have to, I think that's gonna be plenty big. I'm just gonna move some of this, yeah, this extra plastic out of the way. So the part, yeah, see, that's a much, much better size hole. Now, I got out my um, folk art chalk paint in white. And I hit it with two coats of white. I just wanted to knock down and kind of cover up that orange. I'm not a big bright orange fan. I hope not, Robin. We're going to try it. Look, I've got caffeine. This, And he didn't know I had already had a small cup of coffee here at home. So, I didn't want y'all to have to sit there and watch me do two coats of chalk paint and wait for it to dry and all that. So the next thing I did is I got out my Waverly Celery chalk paint. I just love this color. And I love the little pumpkins that are this color. Hey, Diane and Marjorie and Audrey. Any sweet Robin? He's in there getting ready to cook for y'all now. He, he went to the grocery store to get everything he needed. And I'm looking forward to this dinner. It sounds good. Hey, Tina from Maine. Although these Virginia people that I, did y'all see my picture from the homestead? Oh, Cheryl, you have not missed much. Except me talking like I do. There's our, there's our link to our fun group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. If y'all haven't joined that, I wish you would. We have so much fun. Hey, Char, how are you doing? Oh, thank you, Audrey. You're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, Judy's got chicken pot pie in the oven. Okay, now I, when I was painting earlier, it was a colossal mess, and I have more trouble getting chalk paint off my hands than I do acrylic. So, we're, I'm looking for my skewer. Skewer, where are you? I thought it was right here. Oh, well, I'll just have to be messy. I don't see anything else pokey that I can use. Do I? You know what? I bet I could use... Okay, we're thinking on our feet here. Let me try this. <laughs> A plain old Dollar Tree pencil. Oh, Tina, you're so sweet. You ordered a large order from... Okay, let me see, from Belle Lily. Y'all, I've got another order coming didn't realize that they ship from China. I did not have any trouble, and I didn't know they shipped from China either, because um, I try to be careful about that, because sometimes um, it'll take months. I ordered from Zoo Lily once, 
and I missed a whole season. You know, if you want to order like Christmas stuff, you better have ordered it last, you know, beginning of the summer. But this one came, my order came in a week, maybe a little bit more, but really fast. So yeah, I've got more coming. Hey, Tiffany. Um, the folk art, Janet, seems to be just like the Waverly to me. I just happened to be in Hobby Lobby that day. And now, yeah, this one was $8.99. Um, I'm sure it goes on sale sometimes at Hobby Lobby. That may be a little, I think that's, yeah, it's probably a couple of dollars more than the Waverly at Walmart. But I don't go to Walmart as much as I do Hobby Lobby. And I love the folk art, so... Um, I did notice their smalls are very small. Um, did Jody from, uh, Belle Lily, I sized up. I just didn't know how, what to expect. And, um, now this one's been washed once. It does, their clothes don't, have not shrunk on me, uh, it, I mean, after washing at all. Um, but I did size up one size. Now in the, um... The blouses, like the, y'all saw me wear the um, one with the long sleeves, um, grateful, thankful, blessed, I think it said. I got that in a large also, and it, it was kind of large. I think I could have done a medium in that one. Um, so I'm somewhere between a medium and a large, and I never know until I order from somewhere, you know, which it's going to be. So... Okay, we're just going to hit this with a coat of celery. <laughs> it's twirling on me, but that's okay. I'm not getting my hands all in it. And it, you know, you're always going to have that little face there. But once I put a couple of, um, once I put a couple of coats of the um, white chalk paint, you don't really notice it so much anymore. And what we're going to do to it, you can make that the back of your pumpkin. And it'll be just fine. So you see how the celery's coming out? I just love that color. Hey, Janet. Uh, Tina, I've got you a, a discount code in the comments and in the description. They're pinned in the comments, but it's from a company called Bell Lily. And y'all, their prices are incredible. I mean, incredible. And then you get that discount uh, with the code they gave me for y'all. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a good deal and they've been awesome. Awesome. You know, their customer service is great. I, I just hope y'all have as good an experience with them as I have. I do too, Kim. And you know, I bet the moss would be pretty too. It's just a deeper green in that Waverly. But, you know, you could do this with the whites and grays or the teal colors. I just thought, you know, I hadn't done any, uh, I don't think I've done any pumpkins in this color uh, this year. So, we're going to just give it a try. Technically, um, you don't even have to paint them. If you wanted to, with what we're going to do today, you can leave them just like you buy them from Dollar Tree. Just depends on your decor. I just wanted to kind of bring it up a notch where you might not see some of that. You know, it might not look so plasticky. Okay, so we've just got this pretty celery color on here. And I'm going to, yeah, just set that up over there. And we have this one dry. So we can go right on to our next step. Oh, Michelle, I'm so glad you did. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Now, I this is still, that's still got a little wet spot, but that's okay. Uh, that's two coats. Two coats of the celery. And what I thought I would try next, for the next layer, is a little bit of the Waverly Antique Wax. Hey, Jill. Let's see here, what, I missed one. Thank you, Diane, for the stars. Wear small tops here, order extra large from there. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't quite get that, Teresa. Um, have you ordered from this particular company before? <clears throat> now, I did notice with Zulily. <laughs> that was a long time ago that I ordered from that company. Um, but I, um, they, their clothes go way small. Small, small. So, yeah, you better, you better size up pretty good on those. All right. I'm going to use this long, uh, small, chippy brush and give this a go. I have not tried this. This is the part I haven't done. Kim, you're so sweet. Thank you for the stars. And it's Tina's first time watching live. Tina, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for being here. Now, let's see. Hey, Donna and Patricia. Y'all come on in. Let's just see. I'm going to kind of focus on these ridges. I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to dress it up. That that much I know. Now, I'm going to, yeah, I don't want to. Do I want to? It's kind of cool. I accidentally hit some on the face part. So, if you really wanted to accentuate that face part, you know, hit it with this wax a little bit more and it'll pop right out. But I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I'm going for the pumpkin instead of the jack-o'-lantern look. Hey, Sherry. And there's Monica from Missouri. Y'all, come on in. We are just, we're, we're doing something with these little Dollar Tree um, mini, I guess you'd use them, what, for candy? For Halloween, you put a couple of pieces of candy. Thanks, Carol. Yeah, this is that um, Moss, Waverly Moss chalk paint. And, you know, I didn't want to do too much of that. Now, mm, let's see. Let me get to the back. So, we're just hitting it a little bit here and there. You know, just to, I don't know. Oh, you lost your dad. Tammy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's... I know, that's, that's so hard. Hey, Jean from Nevada. Do they say Nevada or Nevada now? I think somebody told me it's Nevada. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Cusy. And there's Mayor. All right. So here we are. It's a moment of truth. All right, what am I gonna do next? The first part I'm gonna do well, let me do this. Let me just hit it with the, the heat gun just a little bit. There's a little, I went heavy at the top here on the, um, on that moss, a celery color. So I just want that to be good and dry because I'm about to just really, really have to work with this pumpkin. Nevada. See, that's what I thought. I've always said Nevada. I didn't think it was supposed to be, is it Nevada or does that mean Nevada? <laughs> Oh, no. Uh-oh, storm's coming, Gina. Better stay safe. I hope they're not bad. Okay. Going with it. Now, some of y'all that have been around a long time with me may have seen, I was trying to remember earlier, I think it was in the spring where I took some, um, vintage salt and pepper shakers and we turned them into tassels we're gonna turn this into a tassel still very depressed but trying to get through it it's hard it's hard tammy and there's no way around it but through it and i wasn't right for a long time after losing my dad and whoo that's tough and um we're just gonna be praying for you Where's the end? Where's the end? There we go. So I pulled out some things that we're just going to play with. So I've got, oh my, some muslin that I tore in a strip. So we're going to cut this down. I'm going to look at about how long I want my little tassel to be. And I'm going to cut this right here. See how many of these I can get. 
Oh, good, Jody. I'm so glad. Yeah, you probably remember when I did it. That was fun. I made a bunch of them. And when I saw these little things, I thought, why couldn't they be? Why couldn't they have cute little tassels hanging off the bottom? All right, so we're just going to start. We're going to just start going for it. And what I'm going to do is I did this in my head. I'm not going to, you know, do it. It's probably not the right way to do it. I'm going to say that. But we're going to see if this works. Because the way I'm planning to do it, uh, this, this seems to be the easiest way for me to wrap my brain around it. And y'all know I experiment live all the time. And y'all are very sweet to put up with me and my experiments. Canon tomatoes. Put the shelf thing back in the shop. Tanya, um, he, I think, I think he got the rest of those out today. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to let me um, put those back in the shop on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. He'll be back in town. And um, so, we'll be able to, what we're going to do this time to try to, try not to get far behind again, is to um, put a quantity in there. He's going to have them ready. And we'll, when those sell out, you know, we will, he'll go to making more and so on, you know, because those are time consuming for him. And they're all handmade. Mm-hmm. Terry, we absolutely are. And we're getting close to that too. He's been working hard to get that taken care of for y'all. Because he, you know, we've had several people say they're, they're ready for those. I don't want the brown in there. And I gotta decide, do I want, I don't think I want, I don't think I want the um, orange in there either. So I'm going neutrals. Don't fall. A little pumpkin's trying to fall. So I've got these uh, neutral ribbons from Walmart. Oh, that's you. Laura, you're so sweet. Yes. And I put jute out here. I'm going to add some jute. Love the look of that in it. And we'll probably use that to tie around it. <clears throat> Let me just see. Are y'all going to laugh at the way I'm making this tassel? <laughs> See, it's going to hang down here. That's good. Do you, Laura? Good. Okay. Y'all know I do, I do everything as inexpensively as possible. This is just a little twist tie. I have a little jar right here on my table, my work table, and if I pull a twist tie off something, it goes in that jar. Little bits of um, wire that, that I've cut off something goes in the wire jar so that's what this is oh no brenda can you try going out and coming back in um anybody else having that trouble okay i ordered the door wait a minute that just scrolled up just now was going to order it when it's back in the store great tanya thank you so here's all i'm going to do i bent this in half this is, I'm just thinking. All right, I'm gonna go right in the middle of my tassel right here. And I'm just gonna twist it right there like that. Now, I wanna take, I wanna do jute or do I wanna do some of this ribbon? I almost wish I'd put more of that green, so add more of that green ribbon in that. It goes with the um, it goes with the color of the pumpkin. I think I may do that. Let me just add a couple more strips of that yarn. I called it ribbon. It's yarn. This is just some. I don't know. I got it probably at Hobby Lobby, but it's just fun yarn. Probably got it maybe in the spring when I was going to do those tassels. 
Yes, more green. Good. Okay. And it's good on your end, Opa? Okay. All right, Brenda. Maybe you can just go out and come back in and it, it'll solve that. I love this green. It's a good fall green. Kind of mossy. All right. Thank you for sprinkling. Yeah, we'll, we'll have that green on the outside like that. That makes it fuzzy and pretty. I like that. And we can always cut it down if we need to. Hey, Pat. Pat from Illinois. Oh, we got 196. Wonderful. Oh, do you, Sarah? Great. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I'm going to take the, uh, do I want to do that? Wait a minute. I got to eyeball it. I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to do it just like this. Of course, y'all can do it however you like, but that's just my little twist tie up through the middle of it. Tied, I mean, I kind of twisted it right there, and I'm just going to thread it through that little hole we made in the bottom. Hey, Linda. Now, look. So, here we have our little tassel, right? Okay, now what I want to do, oh, I didn't turn my, I meant to turn on my glue gun as I got started. All right, I'm going to do that. I've got something I'm going to put down in here. Hello, Wanda. Isn't it cute? Thank you for the hearts. Oh, hey, Betty. This is, we're, we're just, we're taking it from this to this, but we're not done yet. We're going to do a little bit more than this to it. This is just the bottom. We're going to dress up the top, too. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot of, I'm going to put a dot of hot glue right down in here and pull this up and let that set. And I'm going to put some more down in the bottom and we'll just wind this on in here. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Oh, Betty, I'm sorry. You are having such a time. I think that's that that's going good with this with this little pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take this um, it doesn't take this gun long to heat up. Did you, Jody? I was crazy enough. I don't know how sometimes, every now and then, cute ghost if you painted it white. Yes, that would be a cute ghost. It might, Leanne. We don't know. We're going to try it. <laughs> We're just, you know, I'm crafting on a wing and a prayer again. I don't know. We're going to find out. But I'm going to do it for you. All right. Right there. Mm, it's not quite, quite ready, but I'm gonna hold it there anyway. Let's see if that'll hold. Thank you, Jackie. So then when you're at this point, you know, if you wanna make it a shorter tassel, you can absolutely do that, just cut it down. I just wasn't sure. I'd rather go long and cut, or, cut it down than to, for it to end up too short. <laughs> Miss Buggin. <laughs> That's cute. I want it to get a little bit hotter. Hey, Lynn, how are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. All right, I'm pushing that down. Do you, Debbie? I'm glad. I was hoping somebody would like tassels. But even if you don't like tassels, I'm going to show you another way. Something that, that what we're going to do to the top of it. And then, of course, we'll have to have our handle back. So, I'm going to have to figure that out. Thank you, Lynn, for the stars. Oh, Marlene, have you found out... Um, a lot of people are having that happen with the witches. And I don't understand it. It's so frustrating because um, we're as, as excited about y'all getting your orders 
as you are, you know, we, we get so excited to hear that they've gotten there. And right now they're getting stuck, like in one spot. I've had that happen with packages that I've, of things I've ordered too, and it'll just get stuck at, if you can find out what facility it's at, sometimes you can, you know, get a hold of that facility and, you know, be a squeaky wheel. I don't know. Oh, Judy, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I am trying my hand at changing up this little these little Dollar Tree buckets, pumpkin buckets, I'm sure they're candy buckets, and they come in a four pack. So they're a quarter, technically. We hit it with some uh, chalk paint. I hit it with a couple of coats of white chalk paint and then the celery chalk paint. We've got our little tassel. Now, I dug out, this is a part I'm not sure, I may have to uh, modify this one. I used to get the um, Dollar Tree succulents that came in this little container. You can just run, I ran my palette knife around the edge to unglue it. Some of them come out easier than others, but that one pops out just like that. <laughs> Cause I don't like to waste anything. And that's styrofoam that you can use. And I thought it would be a good size to cut up and put down in our pumpkin. Oh, I've got to see it, Jean. So, let me use, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Hello, Marilyn, Kilgore, Texas. I'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut it up. It's messy, it goes into a whole bunch of the little styrofoam balls go everywhere but I'm just gonna drop some hot glue down in there again I think it'll go on that side so far no meltage the plastic seems to be holding up again y'all I made this up in my head I don't know it's like something to inspire y'all and then you'll find a better way to do it and come up with awesome ideas with it. I'm just probably finding out what will and won't work here. <laughs> but this is what I had in my head and when I bought them. And I've been waiting to try these. I kind of was waiting to get my courage up. Because you never know, or I never know, with the crazy ideas I come up with, if it's going to work. We've got a little styrofoam down in there. I may cut one more little long piece to stick down in there melted <laughs> see i make i make up my crafting words as i go yeah there we go now see once those two are in there um this you don't even have to glue down so see there that was just we didn't throw away that styrofoam and i didn't have to use up any more Okay, so we've got our styrofoam down in there. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna put a pretty little fall arrangement. So I was thinking, I have this pick. I think Julie brought this over um, when she came over to craft with me. And I like these colors with this. It's keeping in the, um, and the whole, you know, natural theme, the color scheme we're, we're going for here. Let me get my little cutters. <clears throat> and let's see if I can do this. Because I this is not my strong suit here doing arrangements, but I keep trying. Oh, thank you, Janet. Every now and then, I, I manage to come up with something. But uh, sometimes when I try them, there's just like, uh Wendy, what were you thinking? But we'll see. This may work. I'm going to try to be positive about it. Now, I'm going to push those up. And I'm going to cut that down. About right there. And we're just going to start with that in the middle and work our way out. How about that? 
that one popped right off. We'll figure out something for that. This has the cute little curly cues in it. I need that stem. Where's that? Right here. Look at that cute little curly cue in there. I hope I can do this. Make it look like something. And these berries, I love these berries. Succulents would be great. Are you talking about to put in here? That's all right, Heidi. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to, to tell them about what you collected for me, but I'm gonna wait till I use them. Getting some berries. Now look, it's starting to look really cute, huh? That's not too bad. Oh, Christine, you're so sweet. Y'all always brighten my day, always. And I mean that. I can be having uh, just a, a blah day and go live and get to visit with all of y'all and it turns it right around, always. I'm so thankful for y'all. All right, we've got some more little curly cues on that one. So we'll put that right down in there. And see this part, I know y'all will do so much cuter than me because I'm not good at, um, one of these days I'm gonna take a class in, or, floral arrangements, because that's not my, I'm no good at it. Let's see, let's, um, do you want some more? Amanda, <laughs> are you working in your studio, and, and do you have me on mute, or can you hear me? <laughs> what do I need in here? She makes this look so easy. Oh, thank you, Laura. Three baby deer eating acorns. Oh, Judy, I would just be, oh, that would, I'd be fascinated. That's so awesome. I'm glad y'all like it. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so let's do a little bit more over in here. And, you know, I don't want to get it too out of hand. In fact, this one looks tall to me. Let me, let me work on that. Let's work on that. Yeah, Betty, I know. She was going to tell me, just add a leaf. Put a face on it. <laughs> that's our running joke. Now, okay, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Now, the next part is the part that's not thought through so perfectly, as if any of this has been is what to hang it by. So, here's where I need y'all. What I'm thinking is, I could put some jute right inside this little hole on either side like we had, and we have a long hanger, maybe add some wood beads, some small wood beads. What do you think? There's Amanda, it's cute. <laughs> well, I don't know. But it's gotta hang, because it's a tassel. So what do y'all think? How, how shall we hang our little pumpkin tassel? And does it need to be cut down a little bit? I don't know. Oh, or wood beads and jute. Let me see if I can do it then. Which, hindsight, should have done it before I put all the stuff inside it, right? But that's me. Where did I put my jute? Right here. Now, let's see if I can. Manage to do this. Okay, what I'm gonna do is get my little finger protectors. How am I doing on time? 439, is that right? Where's my other one? I just had it right here. Well, I'm having a devil of a time. 
<laughs> I'm gonna do like Amanda and not get flustered because something's not going right. She just stays so calm. <clears throat> I do have another one of these, but I don't see it, so I'm gonna have to try something else. I just put that over there where it belongs. I know I did. Rusty wire. <gasps> oh, I like that even better. Oh, I love that because that'll stay. I don't have rusty, but you know what? I've got copper. I have got copper, and that's going to be better. Perfect. Okay. Thank y'all for saving me. So, look. It's pretty copper wire. It looks good. That's the gold. Hold on. That's the gold. Where's my, here's my copper. There's the copper. And that kind of, I think, fits in with the, um, the color scheme, maybe. Right? All right. Ow. This, I love this idea. And if Heidi's still here, that means I can use something that she sent me just today. I can't wait to show y'all. And I need my little, these, because that's sharp on the end. I hope it will be, yeah. So, let me think this through in my brain. Y'all tell me how I should do this. First of all, Okay, it's going to be about like, like that. And the little beads. And I'm thinking. And so it's going to go in and out and twist. Y'all looking at the back side. Let me do the front side. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Poking it through right here and I'm gonna grab it whom I say and hi to three-year-old granddaughter uh, what's her name I'd be happy to her name is Lindy really oh hey Lindy I don't see many other Lindy's but sometimes we have more than more than just Lindy, uh, me here. We've got a Lindy in Australia. I'm guessing Gerald has some rusty wire. Yes, I absconded with it. Well, actually, it's not rusty, because it's it's but it's that big black wire that's coated with that stuff, so it won't rust. Okay, so we've got that side. Let me show you how I did it. Um, threaded it through and twisted it. Okay, so we've got that side. And I'm just gonna cut off extra. We're just gonna cut it right here. Little Lindy, that's sweet. Oh. Hey, Penny. Just got off work. Oh, did she get excited, Jennifer? That's so sweet. Tell her I love her name. I don't get to, I don't, hear of many other Lindy's. And when I was growing up, you never heard of it. They called me Wendy, Mindy, Cindy. They never got it right the first time. Oh, I gotta, where's my other, oh, I painted it over that one. Did I? Yeah. That's all right. You know what? That's why I've got this. I just want to be sure. Okay, now, where did I put them? I had them right here. They are, y'all. Heidi found the Dollar Tree wood beads and sent me some. These are from Dollar Tree. I have been, never seen these in the wild, ever. She's the youngest follower of Tater Buggin. She's starting young. That's great. So, I'm thinking we can, I think the, um, there's my sister, Anne-Marie, who's supposed to be on here,
texting me. Girl, why aren't you on here? Do we want to just put them all the way around? Or do we want to put a little, you know, dot of glue and stop them at a certain spot? What do you think? I'm so glad, Sarah. I'm so glad. I just hoped this would at least inspire one person. <clears throat> I know, Amanda, I have never, but they're so pretty, and I love the size. What does it say? I bet it doesn't. No, I don't even know what size it is. Just a few beads. That's kind of what I was thinking. I don't want to overpower it. So, <clears throat> I know. I, I didn't. I, I hadn't heard of anybody that found them that I know. You don't want to be a pig. Well, you were sweet to share them with us. California can't get the beads. Why? Kind of looks nice hanging in the tassel. Oh, the beads. Oh, that would have been pretty, too, to add some of the beads. I haven't seen beads at our, our very best. See me? You see what I'm doing, y'all? I'm trying to untie the knot so I don't waste any juice. Now, come on, Lindy. Come on, now. Oh, Robin. Actually, she's Gerald's sister. But she's my sister. I've had her for 36 years. And I love her with my whole heart. So, I'm so glad to hear that, Jackie. You worked with her at Lowe's? Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm so happy you're here. That's great. These are, Heidi, these are the perfect size beads for this little project. And look how that natural wood bead looks so good with this little project. I'm so excited. Okay, so now, y'all, I just need to squirt a little hot glue down in there, right? And we're just going to do, like, around the top. I've never done this before either. I'm just going to try it. Pray I don't hurt myself. Now, let me just hold it here for just a minute. Y'all, if this turns out okay, I'm going to be so happy. easy is it with a little 25 cent pumpkin I may make more of these I hope y'all can find the little pumpkins that worked I just shoved some hot glue down in that little hole now let's see how many we're gonna need I'm gonna go right here. and I'm gonna do just maybe what three more let's try three more Oh, Allison, listen, I'm going to hold up what it started out as at the end. I'm going to show you a before and the after. Yeah, that, that I think is a perfect size. So now I'm going to shoot some hot glue down in this one to hold it in place. And let that cool down. Rhonda, that's a great idea. Yeah. A little twist in the handle. Okay. Stuck to my fingernail. Now let me thread this back through this side and up. Got to just grab it from in there. Oh, you got eye drops to administer. Okay. There we are. There we are. Okay. Let's see how far up I need to. I love this wire hanger with the beads on it. Oh my goodness. Thank you for that, Cindy. Yes, let me tell y'all. Um, YouTube is great for um, if you have missed a live and you, it's kind of hard, I'm going to admit, 
to find them again on Facebook sometimes. You can go to just click videos on my page and search through and find them. But sometimes it's a little bit harder and with YouTube, I have heard that there are very few viewing problems. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's tater bugging everywhere. And after I get off of here, I always go upload. When, when Mr. Tater Buggin finishes his cooking show, I go upload it. He has a playlist for all of his cooking shows. And I have my DIYs. So you can just scroll right through there and find whatever it is you're looking for. And just refer back to them if you're wanting to do a craft that I've done. Okay, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let me, let me hope it's, yeah, I don't want it to be wonky. There we go. How's that? Should I cut the tassel down a little bit? Should I trim it? Oh, Diane, really? I'm so glad. Okay, so let me show you. This is what it started out as. You get four to a pack, and we brought it right up to this cute little fall tassel floral huh gourd oh my gourd look at what we did i love it home run thank you patricia uh, <laughs> uh i think it's in the basket because i washed it Let's see on the washing machine. You want to come say hey before you get their uh, hamburger steaks ready? There's Mr. Tater Buggin who's getting ready to cook for y'all. Hello, everybody. Is Rita or Meister on here? Rita, are you are you are you here? Because I don't know if everybody can sit through my whole thing. Uh, 50 cents? I didn't hey, hear Cindy. that part. Betty, how are you doing? I'm going to try trimming this down while y'all talk to him. I'm going to trim it just a little bit. It seems overpowering to me. I cooked that last night at church. I didn't see what they cooked. <laughs> hey, Heidi. <laughs> I just, I just trimmed it down a little bit so it's not, but do you see even, you can barely see the jack-o'-lantern face on it either way you're looking at it. Diane, yes, I ship yours today. They were asking when um, the ladder trays might be back in the store and I told them possibly early part of next week. When yeah, you get back, maybe next week, yep. Hey, Tiffany. Hamburger steak, gravy, mashed potatoes, and tonight it's going to be asparagus, not baby llamas, but we're going to have... I forgot you were doing mashed potatoes, too. Yeah. Ooh. Christine. I like that length better. Sherry fixed my apple strudel. Yum, those things are delicious, aren't they? I love those muffins. Ooh, I made a mess today. Hey Lee, hey, Lee, if you hurry, you can get up here for supper. Look what we did, Lee. Turned this into this. <laughs> I know, so much for being retired. The ladies are keeping you busy. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I got the little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, and they're four to a pack, so they're 25 cents each. And so you can get four of these cute little projects out of one pack for a dollar. Yeah, doesn't that sound good, Tiffany? That made me hungry. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, and I'll see y'all at 5.30 tonight. Say Lee would, but she's going live tonight. What so, time? 7.30. Well, she can... She could come over here. <laughs> you silly. I'm glad y'all loved it. Thank you for hanging out with me while I made this, you know little thing I dreamed up. I think I could probably do better on the on the arrangement in here, but it is what it is, and it's not bad. It's not bad for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. So, I'm just gonna go hang that somewhere. I don't know where, but I really love it. I'm so happy they turned out. 
So I may have to do a couple more. I might put them in my booth or something at Southern Vintage for anybody that might like a tassel. So thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Um, get your appetite on and uh, come back with us at 530 and he will be cooking for you. I think it'll be really good. Um, I used to I used to make the hamburger steaks the way he's going to do it with the caramelized onions and then the gravy on top. Oh, Patty, thank you so much for saying that. Y'all are so good to me. I mean it. Y'all have always been so sweet to me. Yeah, hanging on your doorknob would be so cute. I love it. And y'all don't forget, if, if you hadn't heard yet, let me see where it is. There's our little gnomes. We're going to paint a gnome in October. Class is going to be next Friday, a week from tomorrow at, I'll have to look back. I think it's at 2 o'clock. I shouldn't know that, but <laughs> anyway. So, I hope you'll join me painting the little gnome. That's going to be fun. And if you, you know, looking for some, some cute shirts, I got you a link there with a discount code too. What else? What else? What else? Oh, thank you, Gail. Thank you so much. Melissa, catch this on replay. And like I said, I'm going to uh, always upload it to YouTube after I get off of here. So you can um, absolutely go back and watch it there, watch it on replay. Uh, here on Facebook. You like the gnome on the yellow buffalo check? We weren't sure if he would, it was too busy a background, but I ended up loving him on the the buffalo check. And then this last one over here has a mermaid tail background. Um, and so I'm going to just give y'all options. You can do it white. Uh, is it in the shop ready to pay? Uh, yeah, it sure is, Sherry. If you're talking about the class, yes. It sure is. Um, and listen, this one's, uh, I'm learning. This one's a little different because as soon as you pay, check your email because you're gonna get a PDF file. Download that, print it out. It's got all of your information that you need, your supplies list, the date and time of the classes, and your password to get in the private group. So be sure and uh, get that PDF. You like him on the yellow? I, I just had to go for it, Molly. You don't know until you try something how it's going to work out. And I'm not good at visualizing. I have to actually see it. So, I'm so glad you like the gnomes, Emily. Yeah, I have my little gnomes back there. And uh, I got the, I know y'all saw the picture, but I didn't get to finish this little one live. But I put the same mop beard on him. Oh, good, Mary. I hope you love them as much as I do. I, I haven't gotten one thing from them that I, I haven't loved, honestly. So, there's our little mini gnome with his little boots and his little mop beard. So, yeah, and you could paint him up for Christmas or any season. He doesn't have to be, he doesn't have to be fall. And I'm thinking, uh, as soon as we get into October, I, I think I'm about ready to start Christmas uh, crafts so that we can um, so that y'all can know what to look for when you're out shopping if there's any of them you want to try and one of the first ones I want to do is to take um, to take the tree gnome that we did for Halloween and show you how to do it for Christmas because they're starting to put out their white Christmas trees at Dollar Tree so we'll, we'll probably do that next week sometime and that'll be fun I love those Thank you, Amanda. Y'all are so sweet. And I'm glad y'all lo liked this little funny thing that I came up with. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep trying to come up with, I'm gonna try to stretch that creativity muscle so it'll work better. And Heidi, thank you again for these great beads that you sent. That, that was the perfect uh, final touch for this little craft. I hadn't even thought through the handle and she just poof. They appeared today, so thank you so much. She sent something else. I'm gonna I'm wait to show it to you when we craft with them, but I am in love. 
case of the white trees to do the gnomes for a craft fair. Stacy, they're going to fly out. You're going to be so glad you did that. They're so different and fun. And uh, yeah, I saw that too, Sue. Somebody else said that they're going up across the board 50 cents. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know for sure. Everything's going up. I just had hoped, you know, Dollar Tree would remain Dollar Tree because it's, I love it. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'll see you back here. I won't see you, see you, but I'll be handling his comments at 530 uh, while he cooks for you. So, so take a little 30 minute break and come back and see us at 530 right here for Mr. Tater Buggins cooking show. Takes two, Patty. It'll take two trees per gnome. So if y'all don't have them yet, sometime between now and next week, run out, see if you can find two white Dollar Tree Christmas trees. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do them. Two white Dollar Tree Christmas trees. Let me show you something else so you can have it in case you wanna make it with me. Because um, Hobby Lobby was late getting these out, but they are out now. These are in the Christmas ornament section. Uh, they're $7.99, 40% off. This is gonna be his little boots. Um, you're gonna need some red felt maybe. You can get that rolled up at the Dollar Tree. Um, any kind of embellishments that you have hanging around. And when you see the tube of gold or silver Christmas ornaments that come out at the Dollar Tree. It's in a long tube. I think there's maybe 12 in the tube. Um, grab those up. You'll see some of them are plain. Every other one is like glitter and plain and glitter and plain. Just get them. We're gonna use those. Betty, those are perfect too. Those, those are so cute. Now he wouldn't stand up. You could cut the skate part off if you wanted to. Or if you want, if you have some, um, some people have used baby shoes just kind of have to think outside the box. Um, I found styrofoam boots even cheaper than this that you just have to paint. They're on Amazon, and I think they're in my Amazon shop link. Um, those made real easy little boots, but you do have to paint them. Perfect. Kathy says that Walmart has them for $1.98. Get them. Are they the skates? y'all don't mind me just sitting here chatting with y'all that's fun too y'all can go when you need to but i was just gonna answer some questions and let you know about what you might need to keep your eyes peeled for when you're out shopping for that project in particular and then we can make them all together glue the skates to a wood piece be cute but now you're gonna need a sturdy base it's you know or they'll topple over it's a it's a balancing act with them but i can usually figure them out with these uh the metal poles for the christmas tree so yeah or you know if you have him sitting on a shelf where he's kind of propped and he has a, a brace the wall for him it would be fine too I don't get to go, we don't, our Walmart and Bartlett is a little scary sometimes. And uh, I don't get out to the other one very often. The Leanne, the trees are gonna be for, next week we're probably gonna make a Christmas gnome out of the Dollar Tree white Christmas trees. So grab a couple of those if you're out. This is what we made today out of this from the Dollar Tree. So, just trying to think of some ways, uh, inexpensive ways, to make some, you know, pretty decor. And nobody, if, if they don't touch this, they don't know, excuse me, that that's a plastic pumpkin, am I right? And they don't know it's one of those little candy baskets, which, you, I don't know, you could get five Hershey Kisses in that anyway. 
Okay, y'all, I better go and get help Mr. Taterbug and get set up. I do all the, you know, get the camera set up for him and everything, my phone. And uh, we'll see you back here at 530. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you for being here. Love y'all. And I'll see you again on Sunday at 4. Bye.